Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo, and welcome back to the Robot Arena 2 Tournament of Robotic Champions Middleweight Preliminary Round 2. Last week we saw some exciting bouts. Alarm vs. Sabretooth. Alarm takes out Sabretooth. Mudrunner vs. Bushido. Mudrunner takes out Bushido. The Devil vs. The Boxer. The Boxer takes out Devil. Dementia vs. Iceberg. Dementia takes out Iceberg. This week we've got no shortage of exciting rounds. We've got Backslash vs. Lugnut, Razor vs. Da Dog, Revenge vs. Tornado, and Rip Blade vs. Cheese Wheel Jack. Who will win out and move on to the semi-finals in this exciting bout of Robot vs. Robot Destruction? Hello everyone and welcome back to the Robotic Tournament, the Tournament of Robotic Champions. In today's match we've got Lugnut vs. Backslash in our first round of the Robot Arena 2 preliminaries of the middleweight tournament. The preliminaries of the Robot Arena tournament round 2. Alright, looks like Backslash vs. Lugnut in the first round of the middleweight preliminaries round 2. Looks like Backslash is off to a good start. He's got a good cutting weapon that he's trying to use to flip Lugnut over. Lugnut's got some piercing weapons there. He's going to try to get in as much damage as possible. Backslash is in the lead right now with 188 points versus uh, Lugnut's 129. Looks like Backslash has got a little bit more pushing power trying to get Lugnut into those flamethrowers. Lugnut's having some trouble getting up and down the ramp. He's not getting a lot of points with those spears of his. These two robots are doing a good job at not getting stuck under the bridge like some of our earlier competitors. It looks like Backslash is still still ahead in the points. But Lugnut is definitely catching up. Can Backslash manage to get the flip on Lugnut? It looks like he's trying to use those spikes to get up underneath him. If he would wait just a little bit longer, he could actually get the flip. But it looks like the driver of Lugnut's gonna be pretty, or the driver of Backslash is gonna be pretty impatient. He's still trying to push, looks like Backslash is trying to push Lugnut into the flamethrower. Lugnut gets away, pulls away, and now it looks like he has been flipped over. He's up against the arena sidewall. Looks like, Lu looks like Backslash is just gonna wait him out now, firing his weapon automatically. Lugnut's being counted out now, six seconds remaining. Backslash waiting for the count out. He knows he's got this in the bag. And Backslash goes on to the next round. Lugnut is out. Team High Voltage's Backslash moves on with 354 points to the next round. Now, in our next round, let me get that marked down real quick. Looks like we've got Team Z's Razor versus oh one moment there we go the steel yards dog da dog this looks like it's gonna be a pretty good match razor specializing in dealing small damage over time and having a good low ground ground clearance to push his opponent away the dog definitely being primarily a push bot though. Looks like this is going to be a shove match. Time to kick this match into gear. Lugnut oh, Razor having some trouble navigating the arena ramp. Oh, and a heavy hit as the two robots collide almost in the center of the bridge. We've got the dog using his push power right now trying to push back Razor Razor with 180 198 points now to dogs 52 looks like Razor's gonna probably pull away with this one just because of the actual point differentiation dog having no way to actually gain points is pretty much at the mercy of Razor's razor bladed weapon Every time Razor collides, he gets points. Every time the dog collides, he doesn't really get much. Only a slight amount of damage. Razor almost up to 800 points now. 
745, definitely way in the lead. Dog trailing at 190, 189. Neither bot using the flamethrowers. Duking it out in a shoving match underneath the bridge. With a min with a with one minute and forty-four seconds remaining. Razor takes damage from the heat. From the flamethrowers. Dog is definitely in a bit of trouble in this match. Oh, and it looks like he's lost his front ram. He's definitely lost his uh he's lost his snowplow. <laughs> Definitely Razor is going to be in the lead in this match with over 1,169 points to the Dogs 289. Razor's definitely way in the lead on this one. Dog doesn't have much of a way to actually turn this around. His only hope now might be to push Razor off the edge of the arena sidewall there, right beneath the bridge, and hopefully flip him over. With 54 seconds remaining, he could get a 10 second count out if he can actually manage to flip Razor over, but it doesn't look like that's going to be possible for him now. He's in a whole world of trouble. Razor now in the lead with 130, with 1,346 points. But wait, if Dog capitalizes on this, Razor looks stuck. Just leave him there, and he's going to push him over and try to get the flip. Oh, and with 22 seconds remaining, if he just leaves him there, he'll actually get counted out. Leave him, dog. Leave him. Let him get counted out. You can go on to the next round. Okay, back up now. Back up. No, quit pushing him. You've only got 10 seconds left. And it looks like he's going to give Razor the win without even realizing it. With only 3 seconds left, not enough time for a count out. Razor takes it home with 1,346 points. Dog had it, but did not capitalize. On to the next round. And in our next bout. There we go. Team Riot's Revenge. Team Riot's Revenge versus Team Megaton's Tornado. Enter the Bridge of Doom. We've got a great match coming your way this evening. Watch out for the flames, or your goose is cut. You can feel this promises to be an exciting match. Two spinners. Match. One hammer spinner and one drum spinner. Or, a, I believe a... Not a horizontal, but a vertical drum spinner? Let's begin. Very powerful bots here. They can get up to spinning speed. A lot of damage can be dealt very quickly. Ooh, and Revenge comes in with the first heavy hit, and it looks like he's already lost his spinner. Tornado seems to be dominating that match. I've never actually seen Revenge's spinner come off that quickly before. He usually owns the competition. Interesting, it looks like Tornado got that first lucky hit off just in the right spot. Knocked, Reven knocked Revenge's primary and only weapon off. His, his side is caving in now. Tornado seems to be losing some stability. If Revenge can hit him just right, he may be able to topple him. Revenge having no way, or um, tor if Revenge can hit Tornado just right, he may be able to topple him. Revenge is taking a heavy amount of damage. It looks like his battery has been exposed. He's smoking now. One more good hit to the battery, and this could be it for him. He's already taken electrical damage, and he's such a trooper, he's going right in for the kill! Oh, wow! And Revenge is taken out with a final hit. With Team Megaton, with 3,565 points as the match winner, he got the flip, but Megaton still takes it home because that final hit was the one that KO'd his opponent. Now that was a good finishing match, but there's one left to go. Team Scrapper's Ripblade versus my own bot. Now it's time for me to take up the controls and pilot Cheese Wheel Jack. 
The inspiration for this robot comes from watching Jacksepticeye play, um, I believe it is, um, oh, goodness, uh, Boulder, Boulder 2, um, I can't remember the name of it, uh, Bigger, Boulder, I'll have to look up the name of the game. Oh, I gotta fix this camera angle. One moment. Alright, this should do it. Gotta get up to spinning speed real quick. And I'm going in. I'm gonna deal some heavy damage against his blade there. Try to take it out really quick. I might be able to flip him off and put him, put him on his side just down the arena bridge. I have taken a lot of damage on the front part of my chassis, but I'm not gonna give up yet. Maybe I can push him into the flames. It looks like I'm getting stuck a little bit. I gotta be careful. Okay, I've got part of his spinner blade off, but it looks like I'm on my side now. If I can actually just stay mobile. No! I'm having some trouble actually being able to stay mobile now. I'm stuck underneath the bridge, but it looks like... It looks like Rip Blade's main weapon has taken a lot of damage and is no longer spinning. My battery's, uh, my chassis's taken some damage, but my battery hasn't taken any hits yet. It's still in the green. If I can get back up onto, if I can get back up onto the right side, I can finish the fight. I'm locking up his blade if he actually gets it to full speed. Oh no! Five seconds, four! I gotta move! I moved just enough. Um... Oh no! He's dealing a lot of damage to my chassis now. My battery's gonna start taking hits any minute now. Looks like he's getting counted out. I might get lucky with this this one. Ah, he's got me pinned. I can't go anywhere. I can deal damage to his main weapon though with the spikes on the top. And there it is! His main weapon is gone now. Maybe he won't be able to push me around so much. I've got eight seconds to get out of this corner. Seven, come on. Come on, there we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Can't beat me, Ripley. You've got no weapons anymore. What are you gonna do? Push me to death? Probably. Okay, I'm gonna turn off my weapon here for a minute and turn it back on. Oh no! I think the motor on it's dead. Come on, move, 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 move. I gotta get out of here. No! I'm gonna get counted out! Ah! Oh, and Ripley takes it home with 1,478 points. Ah! Well, I tried to win it. Sorry, Jack. <laughs> Sorry. Tried to honor the cheese wheel. Oh, well, that was an exciting match, or at least a set of exciting matches. Thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to subscribe for updates on future content. Leave any helpful comments you might have in the comment section below. Likes are always appreciated. And until next time, take it easy, my friends.